Hello everyone and welcome to a few days after Christmas. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you had a very good time. I'm kind of doing something a little bit different. I don't have a tripod available so the camera's kind of stacked on a couple things. And I'm shooting with a different camera. I'm not shooting with Mallory's camera, I'm shooting with a different camera that we got, a Lumix LX5, recommended by a friend of ours. Very good recommendation by the way, I think I really, really like it. We'll see once the video's done, won't we? On to other news. So, science has started, things are happening, things are happening everywhere, and I don't know a thing about it. I have been locked away, hiding, because of the holidays. See, when you work retail, it's kind of hard not to want to hide in places away from people. Not that I don't like people, I actually like people a lot, but when there's just massive amounts of them, and they're all really angry about the same kind of thing, eh, it's a little tired. I decided that I don't really know what exactly to make a video about presently. I'm going to make a video about me making a video about something. About the fact that I'm going to be making a video again soon. That video is going to be about my review of a book by Richard Wiseman. It's called Did You Spot the Gorilla? It's essentially a book about our brain's ability to process things and find solutions if primed properly. See, we go through life with this perspective, constantly looking at things in kind of like tunnel vision. Because of that, we miss opportunities and we miss other moments that we could utilize for our life in a better way. The idea is to look for the dancing gorilla, I think. I, I haven't finished the book yet, but so far it's tricked me twice, which I give it credit for and I do applaud, but it does make a valid point that when we're told to look for one thing, subconsciously we'll look for it. And when we're told to look for something else, well, then we'll look for something else. The idea, of course, is that realistically we're going to be finding everything we want to find to the solutions to the questions that we've primed our brains to look for. So, I'm going to prime my brain to make videos. Every day I'm going to prime my brain to find a question and answer something to the effect. But I'll tell you one thing. It helps if I have questions, because I ask myself questions all day, but I don't ask you guys. Another thing I'm gonna do is something called the RAF blah, 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 blah. It's essentially an acronym for random fact about me. A random fact about me. RFAB? RFAB. RFAB it is. Okay, anyway, random fact about me. So, for today's random fact about me, this is how we get to know each other, by the way, I used to be deathly afraid of kites. It's one that I actually forgot about, but it's a true statement, and so I think it has to be brought up. You see that uh, old movie back in the day, Mary Poppins, at the end with the kites and the the umbrellas and everything, what have you, flying away. I believed that if I flew a kite, I would fly away. That's terrible. Never should happen. So, because of that, I was deathly afraid of kites and would run from them. And I'd chase things across parking lots because I didn't want them to run away. It's actually kind of funny. I think I'm going to put up a clip later. No, I won't. I don't want you guys to see me as a child. That's weird. Isn't that it's weird? Hope you're having a good day. Hope everything is great. And on that note, I will see you guys later. I'm going to make a video about me going to be making... I'm going to make a video about me making a video about something. It's a book. 